My name is Shane Lamb. I've grown up in Alaska since 1976. I fell in love with the beauty of Alaska at an early age, and I knew I wanted to someday paint the beauty of Alaska. Just the islands. Uh, it's different colors depending on the sand layer that it was buried in. And then he takes and hand cards all these designs. As you can imagine, I didn't always have an art gallery. And um, it's a progression for any artist, and uh, I, I've been doing this over 20 years now. And uh, of course, when I started, I, I had to kind of use the corner of our kid's bedroom. <laughs> you know, as many artists do, you're just trying to find a place to uh, set up your stuff in your house so that you can actually keep it up and not have to constantly take it down. We bit the bullet and decided to get a retail location on uh, the main street in downtown Palmer. and. Um, this is where we've been for the past five years, and uh, it's worked out well for us. Uh, people can see the gallery sign from the road, and we attract a lot of uh, tourists in the summertime. After painting for about 22, 23 years, I decided to focus on really learning and studying photography, and now I have a wonderful photography line that features Alaska. I'll have to say that my favorite thing to do is to get out into the field and be around the wildlife and just experience it in its raw form. Oftentimes I will hike and climb. Uh, it's really rare these animals come to you, so you often have to uh, spot them with your binoculars and hike after them in order to get close enough to get the kinds of detail and the beautiful shots that uh, you want to capture with your camera. There's nothing more rewarding than seeing a father loon feed its chicks on its mother's back for the very first time, or seeing a big bull moose on a clear day with Denali in the background, or see a bald eagle build a nest and raise their young. Uh, these are all the kinds of things that really keep me coming back time and time again out into the field. Pooped him. Oh, here they come. Yep. First time I've ever seen a beaver out of the water. One of the things I've recently taken on is photographing the Aurora Borealis. It becomes quite addicting and uh, after a while you're starting to watch every night for the Aurora forecasts and anticipating what you want to do and where you want to be. Oftentimes I'll take trips out and scout a location uh, to find something really interesting for the foreground. So here we've got a nice little opening. North is about that direction, but we can start our evening from a location like this. Keep an eye on the aurora. Usually it starts out in a, in a, a low arc or band. And as it gets stronger during the night, we can decide where we want to end up to line up with the mountain or 
if the, the aurora doesn't line up with the mountain, then we can shoot north through a clearing like this. Sometimes you go out and stay out all night and you get nothing, and sometimes you go out and get the most beautiful sights you've ever seen. It's one of those facets of Alaska that really um, adds interest to a photographer's life. There, check this out. Whoa. That's amazing. Oh, wow.